Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to Beholder. I got the intro right this time. Uh, let's talk to some people. I repaired everyone's rooms, I think. Good afternoon. What about you? Do you have anything to say? Okay, let's go check our mail, I guess. I don't remember. Uh, affordable apartments? At least any apartment. Okay. Does it need a repair? Several hours ago, a series of explosions took place at a convenience store. Oh, we read this one, right? And then everyone's like, no, it wasn't. The explosions took place at a plant. Yeah, okay. Viva la resistance. Print this one to Odora. And then we'll repair that one. Well, Patrick's going to be expelled because we don't have money for him. There we go. You don't like me, huh? Let's buy some cameras. We'll get two of them. Two of these. So we paired everywhere. We put up all of the things. Do we have anything to report on anyone? Well, of course we're not going to have the ones on that one. Yeah, we need to go talk to... Report on that one. Uh-oh. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Back to part one. Miss Dora, and she lives alone. And she's a female. Her occupation is a music teacher, and she likes to drink. Profile attendant. In apartment three. Mr. Guy. He lives with Lady. And he's a male, and he is archive employee and he also likes to drink oh goodness what do you have to say to me now what Carl talked about money for Patrick what do you think about Patrick going to school and should I give him money I don't know Carl he really wants to study with him. on the other hand he keeps talking about his girlfriend and freedom of speech oh but that's what oh, oh, oh. How may I help? 500 for groceries. Here you go, lady. Thanks. I'll run to the market. Let's go look through this guy's apartment. We have new directives. It is illegal to possess and use weapons. It is illegal to possess fish. Okay. What about this one? We'll go put another camera in their house and level two I want to have everywhere covered because I think that's what I'm just really should do oh no what Alright. I still have to pay money for him to be oh, whatever. Dismissed. Okay, go talk to the guys over here then. Neat. Hello, I'm Carl, the landlord. What? A student at the university. Ask about the name. My father picked this silly name. My mom calls me full. I don't like that either. Learn what it means. Okay. It means fulfill the legacy of our dear leader. But every time I tell my father about my name, he laughs and says it could be worse. Worse? He likes telling the same story when he, which he finds amusing over and over. One, a woman, once a woman, I think, went to the king of a neighboring country and asked him to change her last name because of how horrible it sounded. Her last name was Seven Months. 
The king giggled, fulfilled the request, and said, Five will be enough. I must admit, the story is funny. My father says it is better to fulfill the legacies of our dear leader in our great state to, than to make friends with five butt faces in our neighboring country. Oh, He was right. You don't understand anything. You don't have to answer each time you're asked just what your weird name means. You don't hear, your father is not only a good joker, but a patriot every day. <laughs> What's your specialty? Chemistry. It's a nice university and such. We chop up different frogs and then mix some shit in flasks until it bubbles and smokes. I see you don't find what you're studying to be inspiring. I just don't understand how chopped up frogs can help me to become a person who can make the world a better place. Interesting guy. You're not home, so guess what? I'm gonna go look in your shit. Well, Martha's gonna die again, I'm sure of it. War talk is prohibited. Put in a bigger camera here. Who the hell's this guy? It's acquainted. Hello, Carl. Who are you, a new tenant? I know everyone who lives in the building, but this is the first time I've seen you. We don't know each other, but I hope we can become friends. My name is George Danton. Can I help you? Or how can I help you? I made inquiries, Carl. I think you're a decent man who can be trusted. After that, I want you to do me a single but important favor. What should I do? A young man lives in your building. Can you give him this box? Why don't you do it yourself? I have my reasons. You'll know them after you do me the favor. There's only one condition. Do not open the box. Are you trying to get me mixed up in something illegal? Aren't you afraid I'll report this to the quarter? Fear divides people, I assure you. We have oppressing goals. The only thing you need to know is that we'll pay a good price for this case. Very well. Do you agree? Uh, we need money, so I'm going to do it. Well, the money won't hurt. Give me the box. Thanks, Carl. We pay our debts. Ask about Guy. He rescued me. Other than that, all I can tell you is that my life would be completely different if it weren't for him. Give the box. I was asked to give you this box. Perfect. Denton wasn't wrong about you. Here's the money. Then I'll move out in a couple of days. It's time for great deeds. Oh. Well. I guess. Put all of that crap in there. Oh, I don't have enough money still. I don't think we met this chick, did we? Dora? Who do you want to meet? Hello, I'm Carl, the landlord. Dora and Noel, nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Ask about previous address. Where did you come from? Who cares where I came from? All that matters is that I'm here now. I like it here. It's less crowded than the capital. Everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Yes. See, we have a lot in common. Ask about the news. What's new? Unless I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I got a cold on my first day here. Meet. We did that. Okay. Bye. Let's go talk to our little Martha. Oh, What do you have, lady? What, Carl? Purchases for the house. Carl, buy us a radio. Are you a manager or not? I always hear the news over the phone. No, what? What the fuck?
Yeah, but the potato, the pa, you know. No, what? See, I told you, my hood case. I didn't want to do that. There we go, at least. Go get into the phone. Hurry. Go, go, go. Answer the phone. Pick up the phone. Answer a private call. Hello, this is Carl. Who am I talking with? You've heard about the National Labor Lottery, right? It's winter. I was looking for a place to stay. So we want you to give him refuge to this lucky man. What good will that do? Who are you? We're well wishers. He'll soon face a thousand temptations. Bandits and frauds will be waiting around him at every corner. We want to help. After he moves in, you must convince him to invest his winnings in our production. Our horns and hoofs trust benefit. So science and breeding and care for farm animals. With help with blah, 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 blah. We help farmers sell every part of an animal carcass. We don't waste a thing. We send the meat to the stores and the skins to the shoemakers, and we use the rest of the preparing our propriety jellied meat. Jelly meat? Do you not like jellied meat? How can one say... Consider this a warning, Carl. If somebody stands in our way, he becomes jellied meat himself. Soon our jellied meat will become a national good. Oh, that sounds so gross. All you need to do is convince Leo that a future belongs in our jellied meat. Give it a little bit? Yes, but who thinks of such names? It's a t real tongue twister. Persuade him to invest money in the Horns and Hoof Trust. If you do that, we'll give you a generous portion of what he gives us. I don't have enough money. I mean, I don't have enough time. Uh, uh. I saw a person going this way, but I did not. You're, there's no one in there. Just go in. Search. I've tagged with this customer's name and the price is pinned to the blouse. Seamstress. Oh, she's coming back. No more room to look through, I guess. Legal object found. Get out! Shit. What are you doing here? Apologize and leave. Sorry about that, I'm already leaving. Leave at once. Sorry, lady. You're also, no one's also in here, so... Ball has been kicked around quite a bit. Broken bottle. Uh. Yeah, it's good coffee. Let's go over here. All right, let's put in a third one. There's a lot of- Oh! Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, Oh, so close. Let's go write reports then, I guess. Because this guy's going to be moving out soon anyway. Poor little Martha, we tried our best. We just don't have time. Okay. So, 
profile. She's in apartment one. She's female. She lives alone and is a music teacher. Okay. And then in apartment four. His name is horrible. He's a male. He also lives alone. And he is a student. And he has all this stuff. Send. Okay, what's this? New directives. Can't wear it, have light bulbs. Okay. Profile. So if I profile one thing, I get that. I profile two. Oh, so I'm losing money whenever I do them one by one, right? Huh. That's good to know. Where am I? There's I am. Oh, ah, get that phone. Why are you just walking? Go run to it. It's your damn phone. Oh, where did you take my number? Our unit has friends everywhere. All I want from you is an explanation about which unit you're discussing. I have a family. I must know what we're getting me into. We're trying to make the world a better place, Carl. It's impossible with the current government. As you know, the current government is unwilling to change. What's your unit's name? Unit of Con Confident Revolutionists? The Tomorrow Movement. Why are you being sarcastic, Carl? We might have become best friends. You can earn money. You can earn the money you desperately need for your family. But if I refuse to deal with you and report you to the quarter, I'm afraid your refusal can lead to unpleasant consequences for both of us. I repeat, we have friends everywhere. I knew it. There is something behind your chatter about a better tomorrow. One can fry one can fry eggs without breaking them. Okay. You have kids, and therefore you must know what it means to sacrifice yourself for the sake of future generations. Will you offer to sacrifice someone earlier? Me, for example. Not necessarily, Carl. You just need to agree to be ready to help our movement. I really don't have a choice. What do you want from me? Find an apartment in your wonderful building for a faithful comrade. His name is Anton Grubrick. He will stay in the building for about a week. Ask about the reward. Let's say I agree. How much will you pay me? 3000 That's not enough. Uh, ask about the person. He is a very important person. He's a printing specialist and will print brochures criticizing the current government state. We'll owe you if you hide him. We're planning to go on a strike at a factory in the near future and need those brochures. It won't work without them. If you don't force me to help my revolution... Revol Describe your perception of a state of our country. I must know why I'm putting myself at risk. Why do you need an explanation, Carl? You already know everything. Total control of people, ridiculous bans on everything, no freedom of speech. What do I get in return? Cards for clothes, food, soap? People shudder at night when they hear the slightest sound. They're afraid someone will come and take them away. What do you think of reports written on by one family member to turn in another? Is that okay? What about your job, Carl? What normal society can count it appropriate? And to the job I was assigned, I don't have a choice. You always have a choice. Help us, Carl. Our children will have a society where they won't be jailed for their choices. Okay. As far as I can see, I have no choice. I'll do what I can. Little girl, she gone go away again. And there's nothing I can do. Except for play with her, but you know. You could. She's crying. That's so sad. We'll be with her this time. 
Oh my goodness. Oh, her last thought was she does not like her daddy. Well, I guess that means that you can't talk to her. That, that was horrible. I'm gonna cry. Oh, the wife is gonna come in and be like, oh no. Let's just talk about the radio or our dead daughters there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep. Martha has died. She got a huge gravestone though. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how to have saved that. Us. Do you understand me? Yes, I understand. I never doubted you. I'll call you in a couple days to tell you're doing. Yeah, I know. What's bedtime stories? Oh, need to get a radio. Talk about Martha's death. We couldn't save her. How will we live now? I'm scared and lonely. Give Martha back. I want to be a mother of two again. She's gonna end up leaving us, I think, or something. <sighs> yep. Well, that's it for this episode. I couldn't save Martha, even though I went back to try. I'll just keep on moving forward with the story, even though it's so sad. I want to cry. Yep, she, even the mom's. I feel you. I feel you. Okay. Who's this guy? Angela, waiting to be drafted. Are you a volunteer? Yes, sir. Did I? Did I? I watch that guy. Yes. I got the guy that I'm supposed to. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Again, I'll, I'll end it for reals here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.